guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. Today's unboxing is going to be the Chamberlain coffee subscription boxes for kind of October, autumn time, fall if you're in the US, and the like December wintertime box. So I'm in the UK, they do ship this now to the UK as well as the US and a few other places. And it's basically Emma Chamberlain's, uh, I hope I'm saying that right, coffee subscription box. Now, I do think their products are expensive, but the coffee is pretty nice and I do like the accessories. So when I saw they were doing a subscription box, I went ahead and signed up. So there's been a bit of a change to the subscription. So I originally got the autumn fall kind of box around October time and each one is themed to the season, but the pricing has changed a little bit. So the fall October box was specifically for the UK and we got fewer products than what they got in the US subscription. Then for the winter box, I believe they've now brought it in line with what you get in the US and you get the same number of products. So let me just get you some details about the costings and everything. Like I said, this is in the UK. There is a US version as well, which is a slightly different price. Uh, but in the UK, the October subscription box was £53. And that box contained four items. And now it's gone up, like I said, in line with the US. It's now £72, but we got six items. So a few more items. And it is worth a little bit more than you pay it's hard to work out exactly what everything's worth because a lot of the items uh, that are included, I think some are exclusive to the subscription, plus some of the ones that you could buy on the website, they now don't have anymore. So they seem to turn the stock over quite quickly. So the stuff in the October box, I don't even think you can buy now. So anyway, if you know more about this than me, if you bought some of the products, you might know whether it was something that was on sale or not. And I'll let you know, obviously, what I know as we go through. It's not everything. It's just the odd thing where I'm like, not 100% sure. Anyway, on to the unboxing and starting off with our fall autumnal box. So in this box, only one of the items is actually coffee, which I thought was interesting. So like I said, this is for the fall autumn box. And the coffee that we got is the Squeaky Squirrel Caramel Blend. Now, I found this interesting because the pictures and stuff on the website were of pumpkins. So I was expecting it was going to be like a kind of pumpkin coffee or something, but it's not. It's a medium roast ground and it's already ground so that you could put it in like a cafetiere or something like that. And it's a taste of caramel and butterscotch. It's from Nicaragua and it is a 12 ounce or 340 gram pack. A couple of things I've noticed that are a little bit strange for me on this one. Here in the corner, it says naturally flavoured and then it's got a sticker over it. Now that should read 100% Arabica blend. I do not know why they've covered it up. I find that very odd. And then on the back, the ingredients are covered up and the certified, whatever that's supposed to say, certified organic or whatever is also covered up. I find that a little bit strange. It's almost like they can say certain things in the US, but when it comes to the UK, they have to cover it up. I, I may be wrong, but that's my interpretation of it. Anyway, um, this, you can have it in, like I said, a cafetiere or a French press, I believe we call that in the US, that's what it says on the back. Um, drip coffee, pour over, or it says do it your own way. We are grateful to be part of your daily routine and we take it seriously. We believe that drinks can be more than just drinks, but sources of joy, inspiration and creativity in a cup. And the bag is resealable. You just squeeze it closed there. And the expiry on this is the 10th of January, 2025. So a nice long date on it, which I appreciate. There's nothing worse than when you receive something with a short date because then you're under pressure to use it really quick. Obviously, once you open it, you're going to want to use it quite quickly. So in the UK, this retails for £15.50 and it's a squeaky squirrel coffee ground. And at the end of each section or each subscription box, I'll obviously show you all of the products together so you can kind of get a feel for what we got in that quarters box. Next, we got a hat, this green hat here that says Chamberlain Coffee on it. And then on the other side, it doesn't have anything. It's 100% acrylic and made in Vietnam. And then it's got this kind of turnover bit as well. I never think I can wear hats like this. I never think they suit me, but then it gets really cold here. So I could actually do with a hat like this. And actually what I do like about it, it's not itchy. Some hats can be really itchy, which is really annoying. Anyway, this was, I believe, at some point available for £30. I believe I wrote this down when the subscription originally came and then it took me ages to actually film the subscription because I've been unboxing advent calendars and all that seasonal stuff. But this is the normal logo beanie in green. Let me know what you think. I guess that beanie makes me like a walking advertisement, doesn't it? Then we got a green camping mug, which this is what I was excited to see. 
and I feel like for me they need to always include a cup of some sort I mean I'm obsessed with cups anyway but this is a green like metal camping mug and it just says Chamberlain coffee on both sides it is white inside it's just got that handle on there and then on the bottom it's just plain green um but I love mugs like this I know they can get a little bit too hot but then with coffee you don't normally have boiling water for coffee so it shouldn't burn I've drank coffee out of mugs like this before and what I like about them as well as it making me feel like I'm on like a fun camping trip or something is it actually seems to keep the coffee or the drink a little bit hotter for a little bit longer I guess because it's metal it just it seems to do that I think it's double walled as well there are absolutely no washing instructions with this cup which is kind of annoying so I don't I'm assuming it's not dishwasher safe because I suspect that might take off the design but I'm not 100% sure because there are no instructions which is kind of annoying because normally don't you get something on the box that will say dishwasher safe or not dishwasher safe or hand wash only or what have you anyway that I don't have a price for because that is again no longer available and that is just called the camp mug in green the final item in this quarters box and I love this is one of their candles these are still available to purchase these retail for 30 pounds it says recreate your favorite coffee shop at home burn to escape with our limited edition coffee scented candle our new signature scent ignites all of the senses leaving everyone wanting more with its uplifting aroma and it's in a lovely kind of purple glass jar which surprised me I don't know why I expect it to be a different colour it says enjoy the scent of freshly brewed espresso from the moment you open the box for your new afternoon ritual trim the wick to a quarter inch before lighting place the candle on a level fire resistant surface and ensure no foreign materials are near the flame or candle the container may become hot and the candle should not be burned for more than four hours at a time they have nailed the espresso scent I must say it doesn't say what kind of wax it is or anything like that there is no explanation for it whatsoever but oh my does that smell good so that was the full subscription box for for autumn 2023 so just to recap that was 53 pounds we got four items the hat the coffee bag the candle and the mug now for 53 pound i kind of feel like we got our value the coffee bag is 15 pound 50 the hat was about 30 pounds candles 30 pounds and then the cost of the mug on top of that so for that i kind of feel like we got our value i was quite happy with that but let me know in the comments what you think of those particular items would you have been happy to receive them at that kind of price point so next we are going to dive right into our winter subscription box so like i said this one was 19 pounds more so it was 72 pounds and we get six items and i'll let you know at the end what i think kind of comparing it to the autumn fall box that we unboxed um not sponsored by the way everything i bought myself so we'll see what we think so first of all there are some stickers these i have not included in the six items these are just an additional i'm going to say kind of little freebie but cute stickers all the same so we've branched out we've got coffee but we've got other like drinking products it's not coffee so we've got some of their teas so first of all we have got this which is the citrus chamomile tea you get 20 tea bags which is 20 0.09 ounce tea bags um yeah so these have organic rosehip organic blackberry leaves organic chamomile organic lemon verbena organic lemongrass and organic orange peel and they are made in germany so they are individually wrapped little tea bags obviously i've not tried these yet but i was excited to see something other than coffee although they're pretty well known like i said more for the coffee it's nice to try the tea as well so these are described as like aromatherapy in a cup relax with soothing notes of rosehip cam and chamomile bright lemon and orange peel our certified organic high quality caffeine free tea is perfect for winding down ready to relax yet so these retail for 14 pounds but when i looked on the website they're on offer for about 10 pounds 50. well that is our first item in the box we do also have coffee this is the holiday blend which is exactly what i expected for that fall autumn box i was just expecting something related to the season so it is nice that we've managed that with the uh, winter box so this is chocolate graham cracker oh, that sounds good um and it's a medium roast coffee again again we've got a sticker covering up where it says 100 percent organic arabica coffee so does that mean it's not like i said 
I have questions. Um, the countries of origin for this are Guatemala and Nicaragua, and it's 12 ounce or 340 gram again. And you can make this as a pour over, a drip coffee, French press, or do it your own way. And the expiry on this one is the 13th of November, 2024. So a shorter date than we had on the one that came in the uh, autumn fall box again it is resealable and again this retails i'm going to say for around 15.50 some of them are like 16 pounds um if they're sort of special ones for the holidays and stuff like that um so about 15 pound 50 16 pounds that kind of thing but a big old bag of coffee all the same then we have got some matcha which i'm happy about because i like matcha this one is the vanilla matcha so matcha is basically ground green tea leaves if you haven't heard of matcha it's supposed to be really good for you but this one has also got vanilla the expiry date on this one is june 2025 and there are actually no ingredients whatsoever so it's not clear whether this is like a matcha where they've added vanilla flavor in or I don't know, actual vanilla, no explanation whatsoever, but it says ha add half to one teaspoon of matcha to six ounces cup of water, whisk, use a throttle or whisk for one to two minutes until it's blended and then experiment to find your flavour strength and enjoy. You can definitely um, add what milk to this as well if you'd rather have like a matcha latte. Um, I will play around and see what comes of it. You know I like my matcha. We did a matcha advent calendar unboxing recently as well. So here we go. I've got a little bit more information from the website. So this retails for £23. And it says, Our vanilla matcha is pure plant product made from ceremonial grade A 100% Japanese green tea that has notes of Madagascan vanilla paired beautifully with the earthy flavour of matcha. Just whisk a quarter teaspoon of matcha with two ounces of hot water combined with your beverage of choice and enjoy hot or iced it's vegan gluten-free caffeinated and full of antioxidants and it is 30 gram or 1.06 ounce and actually 23 pound is not that expensive for this much matcha flavored i usually pay around the 20 pound mark i know you can get it cheaper as well but for a good quality matcha i don't think that's too expensive that would probably be about a month's supply for me. Then we have got some more tea. This one is green tea. So your standard green tea. Again, 20 tea bags, same weights and stuff. USDA organic. Uh, organic green tea made in Germany. Again, in the individual bags. This one you would brew. Mm. See, this I disagree with. So it says to bring the water to a boil and have like 100 degree water whereas i have always been told that you should make green tea at like 80 degrees because apparently if you use boiling hot water it basically makes it taste even more bitter than it already is so i personally i've experimented with it both ways i think it tastes far better if you let the water cool down a bit or if you've got boiling hot water use like a ratio of say 80 percent boiling 20 percent cold water and you'll get about 80 degrees um of hot water so i'm kind of surprised to see that on a green tea box to be fair and um, the best before date on this is the 18th of january 2025 again these retail for 14 pound but i've been on offer for 10.50 it says this green tea is radiating with notes of bright citrus and jasmine enjoy it hot or iced for a boost of energy on a cold morning a hot afternoon or any occasion in between our certified organic high quality tea is refreshing and delicious well i shall be the judge of that interesting again it just says organic green tea it does not tell me where those other ingredients are coming in because i know with some teas they don't actually add say jasmine or citrus they just put jasmine or citrus very close to the leaves while they're drying out and then that soaks up the flavor back to coffee we've got some of the night owl blend so these are 10 single serve bags i have bought these before these i really like because they are very handy to kind of take to work when you want a really nice coffee at work so they are individually wrapped like this and you basically use them a little bit like a tea bag and you get a really good filter coffee without the need of all the usual equipment that you would need to make yourself a coffee. So this is 100% Arabica coffee and they've not covered it up. Freshly ground and nitro sealed. Caffeine strength is three out of five beans. I don't know what rating they're using for that. It's USDA organic and it tastes of dark roast, creamy rich. They're the notes. Um, and these are 10 half ounce bags. Like I said, I've had these before and I really liked them. And I do think they're expensive. So these retail a box of 10 for 15.50. So that's 1.55 a bag. Still cheaper than going to a coffee shop, but not by much. So they're a bit of a treat. 
It says, all night is encouraged with this blend, the night is always young. Rich and velvety, toasty and creamy with notes of dark chocolate, honey and toasted walnuts. Brew in eight ounces of water in the fridge overnight for cold brew or brew in hot water for five plus minutes for a piping hot cup of coffee. Cheers. The sixth and final item in the winter box is a mug. Thank goodness I would have been very sad if there wasn't a mug or something similar in here. This is the Diner mug. And it doesn't really tell me anything else about it, but it looks like this. So it's like a kind of cream colour. And it's the same colour all the way around. Again, it doesn't tell me anything about it. It doesn't tell me if it's dishwasher safe or any of the kind of important facts that I would really like to know about a new mug that I get. But there we go. Um, there is no price point for the mug. Again, I don't know if it's exclusive to the box because I cannot find it on the website. But that was the Winter 2023 Chamberlain Coffee subscription box. As a reminder, it cost me £72. Contained six items plus the stickers. Let me know in the comments what you think. Personally, although we're getting two extra items, I actually think I preferred the fall autumn box just because like there wasn't much coffee in it. I mean, I love coffee. Obviously, I'm going to get coffee in a coffee subscription box, but I really loved the addition of like having a hat and having a candle and a mug. I don't know. There was something about that for me. It just felt more exciting because it was like a range of products. Well, I know we've got a range of products for the winter ones, but they're like teas and coffee. And then like the only kind of product that you're not going to use up is the mugs. That's all you'll be left with if that makes any sense. Sometimes I feel like receiving products that are not like consumable feel like more value because they will essentially last forever. Whereas tea, coffee, etc., you're going to drink it, it's going to go, it's gone. Does that make any sense? Can anyone, you know, identify with that? I don't know. But yeah, like I said, I think I prefer the autumn box, but I'm intrigued to see what the next one is. I'm going to assume it's going to be like spring, probably due out around about March. Um, we will see. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video. I will drop some links underneath if you do want to check this out in any more detail. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video. I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing. And I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.